This week, all players will be taken for a grilling session. This will be a test of character for the players. Who will continue? Who will fail? And who will be shown the exit door? This is real, and we are coming down to the business end. 40 players will be cut down to 20 players. Some players will break the rules and will be giving their final warning. This is the Unwanted Program, Episode 2. Alrighty boys, good to see you guys again this morning. Maybe some of you know, I'm too excited to see me here. But I love it, you know, good to be here. So today we're doing a bit of um, shadow run, a bit of change of direction. We're doing some hill sprint. So we're going to spend that our time on the hill. We've got about a good 30 minutes or 35 minutes of hard work. So we've got to put in the work, no cheating. You cheat, you're cheating on yourself. You know, I'm just doing my job and he's doing his job. You got to do your job too, it's teamwork. So, I mean, give it all you got and let's see what happens. Today is a, is a psychology test. Okay, we're going to see the ones that can't fucking go. We're going to see the ones that can go. It's not going to be easy. Seg's one of the best trainers in Australia. I brought him here to smash you guys. So we're going to see how you go, who the weak ones are, and who the ones that, the ones that don't want to work. We can see it. It's, it's evident here in this session today. So good luck. I'll see a lot of vomit. I love vomit when players vomit. It's good. <laughs> good luck, boys. We're going to start over here. Go! Come on, come on! Go! Go! Up the hill, come on! Go! Let's go! Go! Three! Three! Go! Push! Push, push! Get it tired now, let's go! Go! Push! Fuck! Yeah, not bad. Pretty impressed. We've got a few boys a bit slacking off, but it's early morning, so it can't be too hard, but yeah, it's alright. Good man. Good. Um, I got your number from Simon. Uh, thanks for inviting me. But I've got a couple of players that have been going out a lot. I've been visiting all the clubs around Parramatta, the city. If you see any of the players in these in this booklet, all these players, okay, we've got 20 players here. If you see any of them in the club, please call me. Doesn't matter what time, call me. I want to make sure these guys aren't out. Okay? Real. Yeah. All good? Mm. Thanks, mate. Yep. Good man. Bye bye. Alright, um, Tony, thanks for allowing me to come and speak to um, Cooper no again. Maybe we had words a little bit uh, a little bit ago. Okay, it's, just, it's in relation to the same thing, Cooper. Okay, that time you were um, inside that vehicle with your mates, um, obviously getting up to no good. Um, there was further incidents, I believe, that you weren't involved in that um, later stage, but prior to that you were with them and listen, um, at this time we're not going to take any action against you, okay, but um, you need to seriously start to think about the people that you're hanging around, okay, because the thing that happened after uh, could implicate you and your position and your future in what you want to do. Um, obviously, Tony uh, has spoken to me a little bit about what you want to do in your footballing career. Um, and if you start hanging out with these kids long, more and more and more, um, you're going to end up maybe not ha even having a football career. Okay? So, count yourself kind of pretty lucky at the moment that we're not going to do anything in relation to you. But your mates, unfortunately, um, made their, they're pretty much sunk at this stage and they'll be probably end up going back to jail um, and spending a little bit of time there because of that stuff afterwards. Now, um, 
Uh, I can't give you any more warning than that, pretty much, okay? Um, you're still young, mate, you've got your whole career ahead of you, and don't do something stupid just because you, you're getting a, a thrill for like five minutes or so. Okay, it's gonna ruin the rest of your life. Okay? Well, I tell you, I always educate all the time, but don't hang out with bad people. These guys have bad intentions. They don't care about your football career. So if you're gonna hang out with those people, you're gonna end up like, like Constable said, you're gonna end up in jail, man. And no one wants to go there, okay? So you've got a future, you, you abide by the rules. I'm going to let, even for myself, if there was a problem here, which is good that you weren't involved, but you're with them prior, obviously seen the camera says it, the CCTV footage, you would have been kicked out of here. So, but I know you're a good kid, but you're hanging out with a problem mistake. Don't do it again. Have you got anything to say? Uh, I just promise I won't, won't keep hanging around those, those idiots, not do anything dumb or get myself involved in any of the actions that they're doing or that anyone around me is doing from now on. Yeah. Yeah, mate. Two of the boys at the club. You sure they are boys? Yeah. Okay, mate. I'll be down there in a minute. Don't tell them. I'll be there, mate. I'll be there. All right, mate. Mate. Fuck this place, mate. Listen, you guys got me out of bed, okay, for you guys to be a party, and you ought to be footballers. Footballers don't go out. You're a nobody, you have a sign of pro contract, until you sign the contract, then you can go out and party. It's not your time, okay? Partying is not for you now. Girls, drinks, you think you're gonna make it like this? It's absolute rubbish, mate. It's either football or this. Your choice, I couldn't give a shit, okay? Waking up at about 3 a.m. for you. So you pick, it's football or party. I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm out. Okay? Go home. You want to go and party, women? That comes later. Let's stop it. Put a stop to it. Okay? But if it happens again, unfortunately, I have to rip up your contract and you're out. Now, it's either football or party. I'll leave that up to you. If I find you out, you're done. Is that clear? Yeah. Fantastic, mate. Do you think your actions the other night was worthy of a, of a sacking? Possibly, yes. Footballers do not go out. And guys that want to be professional do not go out. Unless you're on a special occasion, you can go out. I've heard, that wasn't the first time, I've heard you guys do it every week. Something was Friday, Saturday. You understand I've got a lot of connections. That's not good enough. You can't do that. Look, it's up to you, mate. It's your life. You'll regret it when you turn 35 years old. You look at yourself and say, what, what was I doing? That was stupid. But you're going to lose, not me. Okay, so it's up to you. You want it, you stop it. You sacrifice. If you don't want to sacrifice, mate, quit the game. Go play for fun. This is not fun here. 
We're real. Do you think you have what it takes? If you're good enough, contact us at admin at australasiansoccerac we would like to thank our sponsors, Palm Childcare, Armani Restaurant Parramatta, Pepper Money, Childcare Development Group, Mortgage Choice, New South Wales Hot Water, Casmic Interiors, Final Stage, and 2110 Restaurant. On the next episode of Unwanted, which soccer star has come to give advice to our players? Stay tuned for episode three.